what's going on i am popping up on your feet because it's time for this week's devotion which i'm super excited about slightly passionate about so let's hope this is delivered well by the grace of god and all of that stuff but this passage we are reading from romans chapter 2 verses 28 to 29 but before i read this scripture um what's been put on my heart is how equal we all are in the eyes of god you know we look around this world today and it is so divided we divide people based on skin color age the way someone looks people are so judgmental and we're almost arrogant in our human conditions where we think that we have an entitlement to something over someone else because of so many different factors the list could really go on But there's this invitation, this scripture, or just Jesus, who invites us to being one, who invites us to having salvation in him through faith. And Paul is making this amazing point where he says that um, it's not someone's outward appearance that makes someone saved or righteous but it's the reality of someone's heart that it is a condition of our heart that makes us saved to those who believe and so when we read in romans 2 it says a man is not a jew if he is only one outwardly nor is circumcision merely outward and physical No, a man is a Jew if he is one inwardly and circumcision is circumcision of the heart by the spirit, not by the written code. So not by what looks what looks on the outside, but what's happening on the inside. Um, And it continues to say such a man's praise is not from men but from God. So it's not our decision who is saved and who is not, but it's only God's. And it's not based on how someone looks or if they, you know, are mean or we think that we are better than them or because we were grown up in a church or maybe we were born in a Christian home. None of those factors has anything to do with our salvation, but it is about our heart. It is about our faith that says to God, or well, allows him to grant us such a gift, such a blessing. And this is what we all have access to. And this is what we want to share with all people because this gift is for all people. And so there is such a beautiful thing about this that there's this one thing that should and can unite all Christians um, to unite all people and let them be part of the bigger family. You know, we don't just say keep your love on because it's a cool hashtag or it's something nice to say for others, but because we want to keep it on. For God, always yes, but for every single person, no matter what their skin color, no matter what they look like, no matter what nationality or what country they are from, but because they are loved by God and we are all loved by God and that's the invitation for us and for all those that we speak to, we can invite them to this beautiful message of Christ that we are saved by faith and if you even go further on in Romans 4 we actually see how Paul actually uses Abraham as an example of this because he was saved 400 years before he was even circumcised and he says that he was saved because of his faith not because of what he looked like on the outside because he was circumcised And so guys, let us be assured in our faith. Let us look at our heart even. Let's see what's happening. Is it in communion with God? Because that's what saves us, not by us going to church on a Sunday and looking Christian, but the way we live inwardly and the way that that comes out. So guys, I hope you're encouraged. Remember to keep your love on for all people because that's what dad, dad, that's what God does for us all every day. All right, love you guys. See you next time. Bye.